Beckham would be dire. <laughs> 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 I was shocked. But where was like, you feel like you the Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, the video is running. Video is running. Okay, so I guess I should do something here. That's uh, really here reporting in from, uh, from Nashville District Court. Uh, I just want to let you know that I. They did take me all the way through to trial, and I was acquitted uh, for uh, this uh, charge, this class B misdemeanor charge, uh, criminal trespass um, over my uh, Biden videotaping incident. The judge, I thought, was almost more, more articulate <laughs> in laying out my concerns than I was. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll have more details later. I just wanted to let you know that we have a win here. And much appreciated. The folks who are still here who showed up uh, to help, I'll have a fuller video later. But... Uh, uh, I guess I should talk to somebody. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going live now. Thanks, guys. I'm off my desk. That's my lawyer, uh, Steph Hipple, who probably did more than any of the rest of us to make it possible. Well, you're the one who got arrested. Did you have any, <laughs> <laughs> you made it did you have any thoughts, Steph, of uh, what, 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 any surprises in there? Uh, my biggest surprise was uh, what uh, the hotel's assistant manager and manager testified to. Um, normally, when we have video, I assume that the witnesses are going to be on their best behavior and make sure that they report accurately because their testimony can be um, shown to be false by the video, but uh, Ellie and Woolridge and uh, Tony Luca at the Radisson both testified uh, that they had given you clear orders, they identified who they were, that you had refused to leave, said you didn't have to. All of that was not true, and um, that was surprising to me, and it was actually very concerning to me, and that's why when, um, when it came down to the end of state's evidence and the state wanted to introduce the video and the judge was saying that he didn't think it was necessary. I argued so hard for the video because without the video, I think we very well could have lost this case. Yeah, I, I have to say, I think I was more disappointed with what Ellie Woodridge had to say than what anyone else had to say in there. I just thought it was not accurate. Uh, maybe it was just bad memory. Maybe she never saw the video. And, uh, but, uh, and I, I'm, I, would give the, I, I, I would give her the benefit of the doubt. She may have just misremembered. She may have, she may have um, perceived. It's true that people sometimes perceive meaning in a sentence one, the person speaking means one thing, and the person listening perceives it differently mm -hmm. based on the situation. She may have just perceived differently, you know, so we don't know what's going on, but the video was definitely important in this case. I think it actually was the difference between winning and losing. So you're now two for two with Nashville District Court, is that correct? Seems to be. You've won two cases. That's not heard of very often in the Liberty Movement, but uh, you're going to be much congratulated, and I'm sure you're going to be much swamped with new customers. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Dave. Well, All I'm right. on the Riddler Report, so I'm famous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, what, what's your what's your uh, uh, company's URL? It is nhlegalservices.com. Nhlegalservices. Like, nhlegalservices.com. <laughs> you want to get a free commercial now? <laughs> you want to do it together? Nhlegalservices.com. <laughs> Something that rhymes with com. I don't think there needs to be an ad on this video. That will be the ad. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks.